in light of the United States's, shall we call them, misadventures in, I know that's an understatement, but in Iraq, Libya, and Afghanistan, as you work it out in your book with Chomsky, uh, are we, in your judgment, living at a time when it is appropriate to say that there is a decline in the U.S. empire? And by that, I mean something at least roughly comparable to the, what we mean when we talk about the decline of the British or the Roman or the Greek empires. Do you see it that way? Uh, how do you understand the broader implications of what you yourself have written about? There has been a decline um, in e economic power. As you, and as you have also been talking about, there's been a decline. And how do we understand that decline? It's not a question of um, merely, you know, looking at, say, GDP growth. Um, it's not a question of looking at the size of the economy. It's about forecasting uh, the future of the economy. You know, the United States has found in the last 10 or so years that in very many areas of economic activity, whether it's robotics, high-speed rail, um, whether it's telecommunications or indeed computer technology, the Chinese have leapfrogged in many spheres over US and European companies. Um, this is an existential threat to US capitalism, which has come to rely uh, on collecting rents on a number of these areas of human life, particularly telecommunications. There is a fragility uh, certainly on display when the United States decides that rather than compete with China strictly on commercial grounds, you, you, you're threatened by Huawei, make better phones, make cheaper and better phones than Huawei. Rather than compete on strictly you know, commercial lines, the United States is using military force, diplomatic force and so on to try to get China to surrender its advances. In that sense, I feel that there has been depletion of power. I think it's too much to say uh, that the world merely repeats old stories, that what happened to the Romans or what happened to the British is going to happen to the United States. History doesn't function like that. We're in a different phase. We need to look the present in the eye, perhaps look at analogies from the past, but not be too analogical in our, in our approach. But if we look history in the eye now, what we see is a depletion of economic power in particular, and the United States substituting military force for economic power. And that is an extraordinarily dangerous situation for most of the world. 